Uh, Keith Nessez, Nessoz, Nessez. Uh, hey, Houston. I may have missed it, but I love your thoughts on the uh, next bridge director's resumes from the website. I think we're in good hands. Yeah, it's uh, basically looks like forensic accountants and um, guys who have sold uh, hydrocarbon.com. Is that what it is? Yes. So it's it's basically like forensic accountants and dudes that have uh, sold oil fields before. I got to go there. There we go. Okay. So we got blah, 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 management. Uh, Clifton Dubose Jr. Uh, successfully acquired, managed, and sold thousands of royalty acres. So we got a dude, the CEO, that sells acres of oil. Cool. Uh, Joseph DeWoody is a, a mineral rights company that sold and managed acres of, of stuff. Uh, Lucas T. Hawkins, chief financial officer. Uh, was financial officer for a mining corporation that had experience selling lots of stuff. Chief operations manager um, is experienced in doing, she does uh, exploratory wells, it looks like. And uh, yeah, has record setting wells. Cool. And then Bradford, uh, drilling construction, um, is also lots of experience drilling wells. And uh, completion production, D uh, Darren Rader. Um, what's he do? <clears throat> uh, also oil company. Cool. Um, Robert Lance Cook, non-employee director. I don't even know what that means. Just board member, I guess. Uh, oil wells, Maya Pitts. Got a lawyer that looks like does large financial institutions. Okay. Multinational firms. Kristen Whitley, CPA. This is our accountant. Uh, forensic accountant looks like. Oh, it raises money. That's her. That's her thing. Yeah. So she's worked with oil companies as well. Yeah, it looks like a good crew. Their I think their entire job is to package this thing up, ship it off, make it somebody else's, and uh, then you know make it rain on on whoever shareholders are left. Can't fault them. They've got they got to drill, I think, five five wells this year to maintain their lease. They got enough money to do those wells. Um, so you know, more power to them. <clears throat> Larry Kiefer, it was actually me who they told it was five hundred per share. After another call, they they backtracked a bit. Also, first TD agent said the QSIP was for next bridge. The next agent admitted it was just a placeholder. <laughs> I mean, the fact that no one can give you a straight answer and it differs from phone call to phone call tells you that what what a mess it is. And that right now these brokerages are probably spending half or more of their day dealing with next bridge holders. That's just 64,000 shareholders. And these in TD Ameritrade might have, I don't know, let's say 15,000 of them. I don't know how many. I'm just pulling that number on my butt. Let's say there's 15,000 shareholders in next bridge. And enough of them are calling every single day, sucking up all of their brokers' time, all of their customer service time, all of their, you know, supervisors' time, all of their compliance officers' times. It is a nightmare and a headache, and it's costing them time and money at this point. So just close the positions, and we'll stop calling you. And you can go back to doing whatever it is you do on a daily basis. Helping on a grandma navigator 401k or something. Uh, we'll stop calling you about next bridge once you figure it out. Rather be skilling. So basically we got effed with MMTLP and should move on with my life. Pay my debt. Else how, huh? No. Wait, wait. There's still a court that's got to make a decision one way or the other. Something has to happen. So the water's got to break somehow. That dam has to burst. <clears throat> All roads lead back to Washington. Yeah, pretty much. Star Warrior. Hello. Sorry if you've gone over this. Uh, but this fee to transfer to AST, should we wait and see or do it? I'm on Weeble. I'm a bit lost at this point. Still holding strong. 
Pet monkey butt, please. Monkey butt, you're on the floor. Pet you. Been assigned. Um, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm not. I'm not in Weeble. No one's giving me like you've got to do this by the twentieth, inauguration day or whatever. No one's. Um, no one's giving me that at Fidelity. Uh, but I'm waiting until I hear something from the court. And if the court says two more days of trading, then I'm staying in a brokerage. I'm. I, I will. I will play that brokerage game, and and see what prices they're offering to close out positions. Um, especially the court says you got to close positions. Like, hey, it says here you can't short a private company, so you're going to have to close these positions because Reg Show requires identification of tradable shares. There are no tradable shares because the stock is untradable. Therefore, you can't naked short. And you can't borrow shares and sell them because there's no market. So close. That's that's what, I mean, I am biased, but that's what, if I were looking at all the laws, I'd be like, yeah. You guys got to close this. The arguments against closing it is how much it's going to cost. And the judge, you know, he'd be like, well, huh, I might torch the entire economy. That's not his job to care about the economy. His job is to care about the letter of the law. So I'm hoping he does a ruling on the letter of the law. Oh, I did. I missed, uh, uh, JR. Sorry, JR. I'm an idiot. I forgot to read yours. Can I send you a link to a MMTLP retail lead share account? What is a realistic price target with a billion shares out there? Um, I saw that. That I'm not sure if it's exact exact one. They're showing the low end at like 300 million shares, high end at 600 million to a billion. Um, the more fake shares they are, the more they're going to have to pay us per share to close. But the less money they're going to have to do it. Does that make sense? Like, let me go back to calculator time. Uh, turn off the rainbows. Turn on. Oops, that's Excel. I want uh, paint. There we go. Turn that. Come on. There we go. All right. Go back to calculator time. Um, clear. Uh, let's say it's 300 million shares, right? And at a thousand dollars a share, oops, a thousand dollars a share, that's three hundred billion dollars, right? That's just thousand dollars a share. I, I think that's a low end for what I mean. We're we're angry, we're pissed, we want money. So ten thousand a share. Then we're looking at three trillion, right? So you've got a billion, a billion at one thousand dollars a share is a trillion dollars. At ten thousand dollars a share is Ten trillion dollars. That's a headache for everybody. That is all the money in the reverse repos right now, plus all the money in uh, uh, the Federal Reserve's uh, accounts and in the, their in the securities holdings. So that is wiping out essentially all the cash the banks have on hand and all the wealth the Federal Reserve currently has without printing just to pay us for our shares. If there's a billion of these things, um, you know, and that, that would be an average, you know, there's some people who are large holders that might see a hundred bucks a share. I'd be like, you know what? That's a billion dollars. I'm out. There might be people who have very few shares. Like, no, I'm not selling unless it's 25,000 a share. And it may, and those shares may have to get closed out that way. Um, so yeah, it's in, it's in shareholder interest to, uh, uh, sell. I mean, hundred dollars a share. If they sell the oil fields, cool. You made hundred X on your investment. Awesome. Thousand dollars a share. You made a thousand dollars. That thousand X. Ten thousand. Ten thousand X. Right? Because this is a dollar stock for a long time. Um, no. I mean, if 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 the price that this stuff is selling for is for way more than I could ever imagine to get out of a deal for the oil fields, then I'll take it. Because why not? Why 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 would I accept a hundred thousand dollars when it could be ten million dollars, right? Eh, yeah, shareholder interest for a short squeeze, definitely. Uh, raving happens. T plus two. How could they close the last two days? It would not have been enough time. They should have closed by the eighth. I mean, they should have been been getting forced to close 
from the get-go. Uh, the corporate action did say that any transactions that happened after the 8th will be the responsibility of the seller to clear. So, um, or, or, or to make sure they got their next bridge and so on. So basically, it'll come down to those brokers. Those brokers would just have to do their diligence. And the thing is that any trading that would happen those last two days would be all to close positions and it'd be just deleting fake shares from existence anyway. So there'd be no, there'd be no, paper, share, no paper shares to trade. They just got to delete all the fakes. And the only way to delete all those fakes is to pay us for those fakes. Pay me and I will give you my fake shares. Just make sure it's a lot of money so that I can get a four-wheel drive RV and Monkey Butt and I can hop in and then travel the world having lunch with all 469 of you currently watching this. Zan Carr, my broker, said it will take several weeks to allocate next bridge shares, although the process has begun. They got certificates a couple days ago. That's what they keep telling us, that they, that they got them, and they'll allocate them. Uh, it shouldn't seem to be that hard, though, right? Because it's, it's still in the, the street name of the broker-dealer, right? So if they got these bulk stocks, you know, one sheet is a thousand shares or something. <clears throat> they put those into a drawer, they count how many they have, and then they award those to their shareholders and say, here's your share. Done. There's 5 million shares being held by our, by our clients. We receive 5 million shares from DTCC. Done. We just typically type, 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 and the computer automatically, they can't, the computer automatically, uh, uh, assigns that if they don't have the shares or they have an absolute boatload of synthetics this is what happens they can't allocate them because they didn't get enough shares from dtc because they sold more shares than exist and they're stuck they're effing that pig right now and that's why it takes forever because they don't know how to rectify any of this so that's that's just that's if it wasn't screwed it would have been done by now but because it's screwed it ain't done because they don't know how to rectify it without there being a way to close these positions 